Is the furnace a fixed appliance? Isn't it designed not to be moved around from place to place? If you think it is, then the building code says we have to secure that appliance so that it can't be moved around by nature or someone bumping into it. That's coming up on Code Corner today. If this is your first time watching on our channel, please click subscribe down below on the bottom right here. And if you click that little bell right next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Also, don't forget to get your official Fox Family merch available on teespring.com down below this video. If you've ever wanted Fox Family swag, here's your chance to grab the same stuff we wear on the job out in the field. Now, I'm not here to pretend that I know or could even interpret all of the codes correctly. In this series of videos, I'm simply trying to open up a conversation about the codes we cite on the job every day out there without even knowing it. But where is that code in the book? That's what this project is all about. Ultimately, these videos are for my technicians at Fox Family, but if they help you, then that's great. And good for you even caring about the building codes enough to watch this video. It means you care about your work too. Did you know we we're supposed to secure our HVAC equipment in a manner so that they can't shift places or be moved around? The International Mechanical Code says in 301.18, seismic resistance, where earthquake loads are applicable, mechanical system supports shall be designed and installed for the seismic forces. And the California Mechanical Code says in 303.4, anchorage of appliances, appliances designed to be fixed in position shall be securely fastened in place in accordance with the manufacturer's installation instructions. Supports for appliances shall be designed and constructed to sustain vertical and horizontal loads within the stress limitations specified in the building code. The first part of this argument is whether the furnace or air conditioner is an appliance that's designed to be in a fixed position. I say yes, it is designed to be in a fixed position because you have high voltage, low voltage, gas piping, condensate drainage, refrigerant lines, and ductwork that all lead to this one specific location in the attic. Are we moving this thing in five years or something? I mean, even then, I think it's still designed to be fixed in position until relocation occurs. We recently moved a furnace on a remodel about four feet to the left uh, into a new closet. Uh, the gas, high voltage, low voltage, flue pipe, condensate, refrigerant lines, ductwork, all that had to be modified to make this relocation happen. So projects like this do occur, but in my mind, the furnace and AC were still meant to be in one location for the life of the system. What do you guys think about this? Is the furnace designed to be in a fixed location to you? Let us know in the comments down below. Okay, so this is for you guys who, like me, upon hearing this code, scoffed at the idea of an earthquake hitting this area. I think in my mind, I meant, you know, like, an earthquake couldn't possibly hit this area. It's in this low-lying area, in the center of the Sacramento Valley, and there's no faults around us anyways. They're all in the Bay Area. As I researched this topic, I learned that over a fifth of America experiences earthquakes throughout the year that average anywhere from 4.2 to 6.7 in magnitude. About 40 states in America had seismic activity in the last 50 years. This prompted the code to adapt this section regarding anchorage of appliances. And the goal is to prevent the equipment from moving around in case it gets bumped into or seismic activity. So what do we have to do in order to comply with this rule? The code inspectors, when we started getting uh, called on that around here, told us to secure the furnace to the platform for seismic reasons. Did you know that there are over 500 active faults in California? The chance that a magnitude 6.7 or greater will hit in the next 30 years is greater than 99%. They also say that most Californians live within 30 miles of an active fault line. To the north of Sacramento, the Cleveland Hill Fault around Lake Oroville last shifted 43 years ago. It had a 5.7 magnitude earthquake that cracked walls and plasters in homes all around the area. Even the state capitol downtown had minor damage to the dome on that day, and Oroville is 60 miles away. To the west of us, the Hayward Fault in the Bay Area shook Berkeley with a 4.4 magnitude earthquake just last year in January. And no one needs to be reminded of the San Andreas Fault that runs through San Francisco. These two faults are the biggest threats right now to the Bay Area. The San Joaquin region to the south of us has its own active fault lines as well. And finally, the Sierra Nevadas to the east of us were literally shaped by repeated earthquakes on fault lines all over that region. The Sierras have fault lines along the crest that run right through Lake Tahoe. 
In Sacramento, 65 miles away, we didn't feel that 4.4 magnitude that hit Berkeley last year on the Hayward Fault. But experts say if a 6 or 7 magnitude hit the East Bay, we could easily feel it. Or not. It just kind of depends on the type of earthquake that it turns out to be. So what exactly are we supposed to do to secure the furnace or the air conditioner so that it won't move during seismic activity? It's pretty simple. We just need to make sure to use some strap and secure it to the unit and then to the base that it's sitting on, like the platform you're servicing from. On a furnace, we can take some one and a half inch wide metal duct strap or even some plumber's tape and secure it to the furnace and then to the floor that it's sitting on. In a closet or garage, we'll take some strap and secure it to the furnace and then to the walls next to it. But make sure you hit a stud with that because if you screw it just through sheetrock, that's not going to cut it. Realistically, here in Sacramento, I think we should label ourselves as very unlikely to be affected by an earthquake, but we do service a wide region here at Fox Family, so the farther out from Sacramento we go, the greater the chance that the homeowner is experiencing effects of seismic activity. Therefore, we will continue to strap the units down to the decking in the attic and securing our AC to the pad that it sits on to prevent shifting. Well, I hope this clarifies the part of the mechanical code that talks about why we need to strap our units to the ground. It may not come across as clear as other parts of the code, but it's legit. And if the inspector writes you up on it, now you know why. Well, if this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down below on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell right next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as soon as they come out. And don't forget to get your official Fox Family merch available on teespring.com down below this video. If you've ever wanted Fox Family swag, here's your chance to grab the same stuff we wear on the job out in the field. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.